Welcome back guys, so today I'm making this video for anyone who has a laptop and uh, wants to get uh, a stretch resolution in Fortnite. Um, a few disclaimers, one is you do need to have an external monitor for this to work on a laptop. Um, if you do not, then just watch uh, the first video, the number one video of Estherian that I'm going to link down in the description and just do that. But if you want uh, display scaling and not GPU scaling on a laptop, you need to have an external monitor. Many people, even Estherian has said uh, to not do it if you have a laptop, but I have a laptop and I made it work. And so today I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, just to get a couple of things out of the way, I'm going to link uh, a couple of videos in the description from Estherian and uh, Freythei. I mispronounced it, I know, but the other guy that even Estherian uh, suggests to watch. And I suggest to watch every single one of those videos. Um, just to be clear and everything. What you want to go and do is uh, download the uh, custom resolution utility that I will link down in the description. One other quick thing is uh, so if you go into your Windows settings under system, see you need to have a secondary monitor. My monitor is this, okay? It's a 144Hz monitor, but there is one quick disclaimer. If you have a laptop and an external monitor that's like 144Hz or 240Hz and you want display scaling on it, so how do you know if you really have display scaling here when you go into advanced display settings you go to see desk desktop resolution and then active signal resolution you want these both to be the same if these are both the same you have display uh, scaling if this is different, like uh, 1920 by 1080, and this is 1750 by 1080. That's GPU scaling, and that's much less responsive. It, like even the looks are much more blurry. So you want to remember we are doing this on a laptop. If you need to do it on a desktop uh, or a normal PC, just watch the videos that I will leave down in the comment uh, in the um, description and you're going to be fine with those this video is specifically for if you really want to have display scaling on your laptop and actually have it work like I said uh, these are the same display scaling there's only one thing when you do this you, you, I have a 144 hertz monitor, but uh, because I'm doing it from my laptop, I need to leave uh, my refresh rate at 60 hertz. Okay, I think uh, if your monitor of your laptop uh, is a 144 hertz monitor, like your actual laptop's one, then and you have an external one for 144. It's going to work with 144 but being a laptop it just does not allow me to have uh, display scaling if I set uh, my stretch res to 144 120 or whatever so unfortunately you you're not using your full potential of your monitor but that's why like gaming laptops aren't really the greatest. If you want to really game properly, buy yourself a PC. <laughs> okay, so that's out of the way. Now I will 
show you where to go and download the custom resolution utility so I'm going to put this in down in the description so when you click um, the link down in the description you're going to have this page you click on download the screen button and then in base of where you live you choose one of these and uh, it's going to then download it for you I'm not going to click on one of them because I already have it downloaded anyway once it's downloaded you going to have a file with uh, four different things like uh, custom resolution CRU dot exe and all different things um, and you're just going to click on CRU dot exe I have it here so I'm just going to click on this and it's going to bring this up okay so here is where I recommend really recommend you to go and watch the videos that I put down in the description why because they explain all the steps much better than what I am doing right now they do a much better job and you know it just more knowledge you have on something like this better it is okay because you can potentially like get black screens and all kind of things that it's not an issue there are solutions and like Frazy shows exactly how to take away your black screen um, anyways like they said you want to uncheck uh, all of these um, boxes on the side and you want to do all the steps on those videos only that when you add a resolution up here in detailed resolutions you want to create your stretch res leave it at 60 hertz even if your monitor is 144 or 200 or whatever you want to leave it as the refresh rate of your laptop and then you want to delete your 1920 by 1080 don't worry don't stress you can always add it again you know you click add go here 1920 1080 click ok apply and everything and everything is set but to make this work how I found it to work is to just have your stretch res here 60 Hertz not 144 120 unless like I said your laptop actually has a 144 um, Hertz display monitor in it but I'm not sure I will because I have not really tested it so you will need to test for yourself if you're not convinced if you stressed if it's the first time you do something like this listen to me and just go and watch those videos go document yourself because in everything more knowledge you have of that particular thing better off you are at making less mistakes or just being more confident and having a better time or uh, overall so yeah you you're going to do this apply and then it's going to apply the new stretch res on your monitor if it doesn't work you're going to get a black screen okay if you get a black screen if I'm not mistaken you need to just press F8 you press F8 and it reverts the changes so you don't press nothing else you just press F8 um, if instead uh, you pop back up with this with a like message in front of it like uh, do you want to confirm OK or whatever you just click OK or the X and after that you want to go into your NVIDIA settings 
nice. It's taken. Okay. You go into your NVIDIA settings and. Uh, no, not this. So, adjust desktop size and position. You want to have it on no scaling and. Yeah, see, like GPU display. When it's on display, it's perfectly fine. So, if uh, it has no scaling on and you're on display scaling and you want to know if you if it really worked and everything, you go into your Windows settings into display. Click on your second monitor, you go down to advanced display settings and you will see these two numbers the same. If these two are the same, it is working. So you're done at a like desk, um, like, never mind. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. If these two numbers are the same, you have display uh, scaling. So, yeah, then what you want to do is change it into Fortnite. Uh, practically what you're going to do is going to type, uh, press Windows key and R at the same time. Percent low call app data percent. Okay. Epic Games, no, Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, game user settings, then right click, properties, and you uncheck read only, okay? You uncheck it. I clicked cancel because I've already done all of this, but you uncheck it, then you double click on it. You go down to where it says here we go so resolution you want to change your resolution every one of these that has 1920 by 1080 you want to change it to the resolution you have so 1750 1750 la 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 file save okay once you've saved you come back here and you recheck this, apply, okay. Once you've done that, you're going to launch Fortnite. So, like I said already a couple of times, please, please, please watch those videos because I'll be honest, I'm not an expert. I have played around with these things a bit and I have a bit of knowledge on all of this, I do understand a bit, but uh, I'm only making this video because just as well as I wanted really to have a stretch res with display scaling on my laptop, I know someone out there wants the same. And so I'm just making this video because I haven't really seen much talking about this or many people that have really spoken about this on a laptop so i'm making this video so that i hope it can work for you too so see 1750 by 1080 don't worry if you don't have the 12 uh, what was it 1280 by 960 and uh, the 1920 by 1080 because if you want to be playing in this, you literally just need this. You also want it to be in full screen. If you're on a laptop and you have a display, uh, an external monitor, I suggest doing what I did to make it work properly. And just remember, if you're not able to make it work, or you get black bar or a black screen or something don't stress don't panic just go on YouTube find uh, videos that 
help you revert the changes and everything and you're going to be fine okay i tell you this because when i did it the first time i was like very very like worried like black screen what's this uh, a headache just don't 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 stress about it and uh, yeah you're going to find the solution but with this um with this uh, way that i used it worked gave me no black screen and uh, so i can confidently say that this worked for me and i hope it does for you too on a laptop with an external monitor yes i've got 144 hertz but can only use 60 so it's lots of performance left uh, on the table but uh, I'm trying to get myself a good PC so I can finally like stream make good videos not play in a game that looks like play-doh because I've got 8 gigs and performance mode on 8 gigs makes your game look like play-doh so yeah and uh, that's it i really hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video bye